iOS is a mess. I'm pretty much the Dr. Seuss of tech reviews. All right, I'm not gonna gild this lily. Here's how I'm gonna clean up my iPhone XS. Uh, basically, to make my brain work around this messy layout, I'm turning this into something closer to Android and using it a bit more like how I use Windows 10. I used to be that guy on my Android phones who would use all seven home screens for widgets, but increasingly over time, looking to better focus during my phone interactions, I've been streamlining. So on my 10s, I've recreated that aesthetic by only pinning my top use services to one home screen and dumping everything else into a folder to replicate an app drawer. I want focus. Now what's really frustrating is Apple has zero tools for helping you manage this kind of organization. I'm not gonna take the time to manually alphabetize my apps in this folder. They just need to live somewhere not in my way. So like how I do on Windows 10, when I want a lesser used app, I search for it after swiping down on the home screen. Nice and easy. Then I keep a tailored list of widgets to the left for my day at a glance and prune through every app that delivers tons of useless notifications, hopefully arriving at a pocket computer that really acts like a bespoke companion fitting my needs. It's kind of hard making iOS do what you want. A couple years back, I spoke with a psychiatrist about compulsive behavior, addictive behavior, and our gadgets. So I think it's really cute that Apple is delivering a plugin that tracks your use and maybe it can guide you in putting your phone down more often. But they've done practically nothing to help the end user manage, organize, and minimize distraction. The iOS UI is basically a flea market dumping apps into a rigid list, making you, the user, jump through hoops to hide, categorize, and sort, where you can't even really place these icons where you want. An important component of healthier tech interactions is managing focus and attention, minimizing distractions iOS is long overdue. Some quality of life updates in that regard. As always folks, thanks so much for watching. I'm digging into this phone now, working on expanded deep dive reviews for audio and camera tech. If you wanna see those deep dives and support production on this channel, I hope you'll check out the community over at patreon.com slash some gadget guy. Some really fun, like-minded tech geeks, and you'll get fun perks like early access to videos and production diaries. You know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Facebooks, the Twitters, and the Instagrams, and I will catch you on the next review. iOS is a mess. I profess my distress. This is not said in jest, but, but I digress.